Are you struggling with finding multifamily deals right now? Maybe you don't even know where to start, where to look, where to call. That's a major problem, and finding consistent deal flow is a major challenge for most in investors. But it doesn't have to be this way, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate consistent deal flow so you never have this problem again. All right, let's talk first about strategy. First of all, how should you even go about looking for deals? What's working right now? What's the best source to do that? And the answer to that question is commercial real estate brokers. Yes, you can send yellow letters and postcards and put up bandit signs like I used to do when I'm flipping houses, but it doesn't really work consistently in multifamily. Brokers make it their business to know every single apartment builder in the entire area. I remember, gosh, back a while, I had a, I had a, a property locally here in Washington, D.C., and Marcus Millichap would send me postcards, call me, want to take me out to lunch, give me a free valuation of the building, and they were providing value, providing value, checking with me so that if I'm ready, ever ready to sell the building, I would call them. They make it their business. It's a lot of time, effort, and money to do that. So don't do that. Don't try to shortcut it. They have the relationships with those sellers. Just leverage that. I, and, and here's the thing is you don't need a lot of brokers. You need like two, two brokers, sometimes even one. I remember when I was marketing for deals in Texas, this was back in 2007, actually. And I was sending yellow letters, you know, and I would get a call every once in a while and I would start calling brokers and call brokers. And then there's one guy who was literally was prolific and he would send me one deal a week. Uh, and that was amazing. And and obviously, I built a relationship with this with this person. And I just had trouble just keeping up with that one broker. You only need one or two of those brokers. You don't need a lot. But the point is, brokers is the source. Now, that's the number one way to find apartment building. The question is, how do you find these people, right? And the and the answer is LoopNet. LoopNet.com. Go to LoopNet.com. It's free. You can create a free uh, account. And here's how it works. So a lot of people say LoopNet is where deals go to die. And that's partially true. Uh, if a deal is on LoopNet, that means it's been marketed and picked over by everybody else. and Everybody passed and it's still there because no one wants it. And again, that's partially true because sometimes people still do deals off LoopNet. But the primary purpose of LoopNet is for finding the brokers in a market. So you log in and you do a search, multifamily, whatever size range, whatever city, whatever. you can go down to zip code if you want, and you get all these, these listings. And, and you make note of the listing, but you're, what you're most interested in is the brokers. So here's what you do. You create a spreadsheet of all the brokers that you find, okay, name, email, phone number, and an activity log and what listings they have, right? So when you call them up, you sound intelligent saying, hey, I noticed you had three listings right now. That's fantastic, right? So create a spreadsheet and uh, of all those brokers you find in LoopNet and then start calling them. Now, wait, before you start calling, there's a couple things you need to do first. First of all, you have to sound like you know what you're talking about. You can't sound like a newbie, all right? You have to educate yourself a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna go into that in this particular video on how to do that. It's just a very important step. Um, if you go and Google my blog or YouTube channel, of uh, it's called How to Not Sound Like a Multifamily Newbie. How to Not Sound Like a Multifamily Newbie. Um, I go into how to exactly how to do that, all right? So that's number one, you can't sound like a newbie. Number two, you have to have your team built. Specifically, you have to have a property manager around you and a lender, okay? And, and that way, you're calling them from a position of confidence. I'm not gonna go in talking about your team, but if you uh, look on YouTube, how to build your commercial real estate team and get your first deal, that is gonna be the video for you. Now, once you've done both of these, you can call the brokers on your list with confidence. Now, look, just this stuff really works. Don't take my word for it. I interviewed uh, Logan Freeman on podcast episode 175. Logan Freeman 175 on my podcast. This guy has hundreds of, of units and raised tens of million dollars. And he's doing the same exact thing. He's making a list of brokers. He's calling them. He's staying in touch. He's building a relationship. And now he gets 80% of the deals off market because of the same exact strategy I'm talking about right now. So, Continue building a relationship with these brokers. You find them on LoopNet. You create a spreadsheet. You're very consistent with your follow-up with them. And before you know it, they're sending you off-market deals your way. All right, now, before you go, grab this free ebook, The Secret to Raising Money. Super cool. And subscribe to this channel. That's very important because I put out stuff weekly and you don't want to miss it. And hey, watch this next video.